Hello all, my name is Prabhakar. I am making series of videos available to you to learn Amazon Web Services. And in this session, we are going to talk about AWS ECR, that is Elastic Container Registry. In this demo, I am going to cover the following topics. Create EC2 instance, set up AWS CLI and Docker inside EC2 instance, and create AWS ECR repository, and push sample Docker image on ECR repository, a pull sample Docker image from ECR repository, and we can also see a couple of ECR commands. Before jumping to the lab, let's see that, okay, exactly what is this ECR. ECR stands for Elastic Container Registry. Amazon Elastic Container Registry is managed AWS Docker Registry Service that is secure, scalable, and reliable. Amazon ECR supports private Docker repositories with resource-based permissions. We can also use AMI permissions for specific users or Amazon EC2 instances can access repositories and images. Developers can use the Docker CLI to push, pull, and manage all the images. Let's go to the lab. Here, I am creating an EC2 instance. Go to EC2 instance, services, you can type EC2. For more details about EC2 instance, how to work on EC2 instance, you can check out my previous videos. Launch instance. And you can choose any one of the uh, Amazon mission image. So I'm choosing the Ubuntu image. Choose the type of the image. So I'm going, uh, I will go with uh, free tire eligible image. Next, go to the configure instance. So here I'm choosing my role as full access for my uh, ECS, that is Elastic Container Service and EC2 and S3. So to know more about IMA roles, so I already prepared one more video. So you can check out my previous video. I will give the link in the description. Add a storage. So this I can leave it as it is with the default settings. And I can add some sample tags here. The type is to check ECR. This is optional. And I'm creating some security group here. So I already created a security group here for the first VM. And I have opened the three ports and that HTTP TCP 88 port and 22 port. And launch the instance. And I'm choosing the key pair is demo key. So these all details I already covered in my previous videos. You can check out all these videos and go to the view instance. It will take a couple of seconds to launch the instance. So now my instance is up and running. I can go here and then connect. So I can copy this command for accessing that instance. It is uh, saying that connection is refused. So I think uh, still the instance is loading. So again, I can click on the connect and copy the connection string here, SSH command, try to connect it again. So now it is connected. Yes. So now I connected to Amazon EC2 instance. So I described in the agenda. So I'm going to configure AWS CLI and uh, Docker inside my e EC2 instance. So for doing that, so before that, so I'm updating the package manager here. So do I have get update? And now install AWS CLI
now go with the uh, installation of uh, docker so i'm installing a docker.io it is a community uh, version so it's a sudo apt get install Now installation this part is done. So what I need to do now, if I say Docker images, so this command is successfully executing and it means that, okay, I have successfully installed the Docker and uh, AWS CLI so I configure that. Now next step would be, so I have to configure, I have to create a ECR. So I can go to the services and you can type ECR, Amazon El Elastic Container Registry so there are two options, container service and container registry. For the next video, I'm going to cover elastic container service and uh, this video, so we will focus only on the elastic container registry. Click on container registry and create a repository. So here I'm giving the repository is demo uh, the repository. Okay, so create a repository here. Now I have created a repository here. So now what I want to do is, so inside this repository, I don't have any images as of now. So I have to actually push some images uh, from my local machine to uh, inside my ECR repository. So for doing that, so as of now, I don't have any code here. So I'm taking uh, some sample image from the Docker public repository, Docker pull and the hello world, uh, hello world image. So if I see uh, sudo docker images, so here I have a rep uh, I have an image. So with the with the name is hello world. Now what I want to do is now I need to connect it to my ECR and I need to push this local repository, uh, local image uh, hello world uh, inside my AWS ECR. So for doing that, you can you can select a uh, repository and click on push commands. There are a couple of commands are available for that. And uh, so the first command is that you can get the access token and uh, you can get the login to the Docker by using that access token. Next is you can build the image by using your source code. And uh, third one is for you can tag it and then you can push that uh, image into uh, ECR. So uh, here I already listed down the some of the commands here. So for the better understanding, I have split all the commands and uh, with the differently instead of using a pipe and with a large command i'm using this command for getting the authentication token copy this command and paste it here you will get that this is a my authentication token you can copy this center command you can use sudo sudo is completely optional so based on your permission level so you need to use the sudo or you can directly use the docker and followed by command. So in my case, I'm running this as a user. So that's why I'm using it as a sudo. So now if you, if you, if you copy this command, enter command. So now I have successfully logged into the docker. So what I want to do is now. So next is that I want to actually push my uh, the locally uh, uh, pulled image that is a hello world. So here is my hello world. So before actually pushing that, so I'm going to rename that. That means I'm going to tag it with the specified, the predefined name. So uh, for doing that, so I can go to the ECR. So here that, so there is a tag for, tag for this repository. I can copy this command, go to repository and paste it here. So here, this part is actually the, my repository name. Okay. And this is for actually my, uh, the source of the uh, my image so my source of that my image is the hello world so what i can do so instead of using a latest copy this okay you can copy hello world is repository and colon followed by the tag that is a latest tag so now once you've done that you can you can you can push that so it is giving error as i said so you have to use the sudo so now I successfully done the tagging part. Again, check the Docker images. So now if you see that I have the tagged image is ready. 
for pushing into Asia. So now what I can do, so I can simply use the Docker push and followed by this is the, my file and push it. So it is successfully pushed it. So now you can go to your ECR, click on the repository and you can check that. So newly pushed repository, you can easily find that inside uh, your repository. So this is how uh, we can uh, we can create a local uh, images, Docker images, and we can push it into a uh, respective uh, repository. And apart from that, the same image we can also push pull out. So and before doing that, I will describe that okay few of the ECR commands. So I just want to check that okay how many repositories are there inside my uh, ECR. So uh, I can use the command. So let me clear up the screen. I can use the AWS ECR and I can use the command is a describe repositories. Okay, so if you say enter, uh, it is giving you some warning is you must specify reason. But if I don't know the reason of that, so what I can do, I can go to the console, click on here so you can find that. Okay, this is my reason, uh, US East one. So in the same command, I can specify the region here is US East one. So these are the uh, one repository which is exist inside my uh, ECR. So if I create another repository, so like if I say uh, click here, if I say second underscore repository and create the repository. So currently I have a two repositories here and if I use the same command again, so I can find that there are the two repositories which are exist. One of the repositories is demo repository and second one is for the second, uh, second underscore repository. So this is how we can extract the repository names from the ECR. And at the same time, I just want to see that, okay, how many uh, images are there in a specific repository. I can use AWS ECR. Instead of using uh, describe repository, I can use uh, describe images, describe images, and the followed by the repository iPhone like name equal to, so, demo underscore repository and the same way uh, we have to specify the region also here I can use region equal to US East 1 okay uh, AWS ECR I think is the command is correct repository underscore iPhone name okay there is a spelling mistake on that so here it should be a repository Okay, so if I say enter, yeah. So I have only one image is available. So this is the hashtag for that. And um, so the tag for this is the latest one. So this is how we can extract, we can describe and, uh, the images which are there in the in a specific uh, uh, repository inside ACR. So uh, we have used a uh, command. Uh, this is the command we have used uh, for pushing uh, my, uh, pushing the image into, um, inside uh, ECR. So what I'm going to do now here, so first of all, so in my local mission, so I have uh, the following uh, images are available. So I'm going to delete all these images, sudo, and then I will pull the image from the ECR. Let's see that, okay, how it will work. Sudo and RMA remove image forcefully, and all the images I want to remove, or I can specify the name also here, copy this is that so now if i see docker images again okay so as of now i don't have any uh, images uh, right now so now i can do uh, sudo okay docker pull the image from where you can go to uh, the repository click on the repository here is a my image url you can copy this image url and put it here and run it it so now if I go here again, Docker images, okay, I can find that image, okay. So my image is successfully pulled from ECR. So this is how we can manage completely uh, push, pull and managing of all the images with the help of ECR. This is completely secure and it is a private repository so that uh, we can decide or admin can uh, provide access to the specific users or specific EC2 instance. So I hope you enjoy the video. And so I will specify, I, I will mention, I will mention that, okay, so uh, different set of uh, Docker commands, how we can use the Docker and what are the commands are required in order to 
uh, pull and in order to save the image, in order to tag the image. And uh, so you can find uh, that link into the description link. So hopefully uh, this lab give you a chance to work in uh, Amazon Elastic Container Registry and um, how, uh, how this will work. And we come to end of this lab and thanks for watching this. I will see you in the next lab.